Just getting ready to mount the front caliper on and I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about these two guide pins. Um, when I pulled these out of the bag, I was thinking, oh, which one goes where? Um, Suzuki has made this a no-brainer for you, so a couple of different things. One, these holes where these pins ride are two different diameters, so the big one is really loose in here, it doesn't belong there. It's snug in here. The other piece is this one has the threads here, this one has threads out here. So, you know, they're threaded differently. See, you really can't get it wrong. And then uh, these pins, you want to grease them. For brakes, I like to use white lithium grease. Okay, so I didn't have the uh, piston all the way back into the cylinder, so I just went ahead and put a big C-clamp on it, and I put a rubber glove in here to protect my paint and just pressed it in. So now, when I get the outer pad, I'll call it, um, back into place, I'll have enough gap for my disc. New set of pads here. If you paint your caliper, um, tape off the inside in here. I didn't, and I got paint in there, and uh, my clearance, because this pad goes up in here, and it got too tight, so I just had the Dremel out and removed the paint, but now it's sliding in there. Yeah. Anyways. So the one with the threads goes there, and you'll end up putting a screw into that. So um, you got this little screw that looks like a Phillips. It is not. It's JIS. So get your JIS screwdriver out. And then with that I can tighten this up and it draws that pad right up into place. The inner pad rides in here, and this I was smart enough to uh, put some tape inside of there so I didn't fill up this space with paint. Um, no biggie, I just um, pulled it out of there. You know, the one thing I would say is you want there to be the ability for this to be loose in here, but snug. On this pad, it doesn't matter so much. It really becomes a rigid part of the caliper as a whole because of that bolt, so uh, not as critical. And then the other thing to consider is the direction of this pad. This thing, this assembly here, can only fit in here one way. And you know, there's no other possible orientation for this. You can't do it that way, you know, it's, it's just, this is it. So you want to make sure that the pad is oriented this direction, you know, rather than the opposite, clearly. The other way to look at it is I want the backing plate against the piston. Like that. Here's a little tip on old rubber parts like this. If you're not going to replace it, um, you can, because this is still pretty pliable, you can breathe a little life into it with uh, some glycerin, just pure glycerin. Get it at the drugstore. 
it kind of gives gives rubber a new life helps keep it soft so I'm just gonna give this a good coating and then I'm gonna dry it off with a paper towel and again just excess Then you want to get this rubber seal mounted onto this piece first so that it's up and around. Do I have it all the way on? I don't. Let me get a screwdriver. Yeah. So that it's up and around this piece and sealing there first. Then you put your pieces together and get that rubber outers, the outer lip, I guess I'll call it. There. Now we got a good dust seal and we can put our pins in. This is pretty simple. I've got my bolts freshly cleaned up on the wire wheel. There's a washer and oops, and a lock washer, and for some reason they're reversed here. Let's get that straight. I don't know that the lock washer is um, OEM stock. I tell you, this bike, you know, had a previous owner, maybe more than one. I don't know. And I found all kinds of interesting little deviations from uh, the service manual and the exploded parts diagram. So anyways, when you put this on, there should be some looseness between the disc and the, your brand new pads. And torque is for these two bolts, front brake caliper mounting bolt. It is a 10 millimeter bolt diameter, 2.5 to 4 kilogram meters. That is 18 to 29 pound feet 18 to 29 I got to get my torque wrench okay 25 is what I went with Not real tight. There we go. Okay, so we do have that bolt and then 16 and 17 are washer and lock washer. So looks like the both washers do belong and yeah, make sure you have them. Sandwich your brake line between two new copper crush washers. Make sure there's enough diameter on that thing. This cable might be just an inch or two too long. I mean, you certainly want some travel here because your suspension is going up and down, but this guy. A little long. I, I could argue that uh, 
you know, I could have gone shorter. Not doing that. This is the way to go. Torque spec on these is, they call it the brake hose union bolt. I would call it a uh, banjo bolt, but that's fine. 1.3 to 1.8 kilogram meters or 9.5 to 13 pound feet. 13. And then just get this thing you know, where you want it, knowing that it's going to rotate in a bit as you tighten. You're kind of holding it in place back here. Should be good. So hey, thanks for watching you guys. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you'd like to become a monk. Break caliper, one step at a time. Thanks for watching.